Five Day Crypto, Harmony One on the weekly scale. Let's go right to it. Uh, the weekly chart after the substantial drop. Have we finished uh, our pullback? Are we getting ready to go up? We're going to look at that in depth today. We're going to look at the daily chart, the weekly chart. Let's start off with the Fibonacci retracement. So let's pretend we don't know if the bottom is in. And what you want to be looking for for a retracement uh, is, you know, support at key levels. So the 786, uh, pretty substantial pullback right to that level. Similar levels here. And I support, right? Look at this. Look at these lines. This is what you want to be looking for. Uh, when you have support and resistance levels uh, coming back in multiple times, uh, that could be a pretty uh, nice, uh, you know, foundation uh, that we're building for Harmony One. So have we bottomed? Well, I think uh, it's more likely that we have than haven't because of one, you have these, you know, the, the red line that I have drawn here too. You have all of these touch points at the 786 on the Fib retracement, okay? So now let's let's assume the bottom is in. So now let's go look at a Fibonacci extension. So then you start at the top and you go down to the bottom wick, okay? So the retracement starts at the bottom and goes to the top. And you'll have your retracement more zones down here. If you want your extension, right, your extension will have more up here. So if you're new, that can be confusing. So there you go. So now we're looking at the extension, okay? So where could we potentially be uh, moving up to uh, you know, as, as people start to take profit again, as we start to work our way back up the ladder. So we've attempted to, you know, hit the 382, which looks like a lot of people profit took there, or at least offloaded uh, their losses at that level. So as we work our way back up here, uh, you know, bears jump out the window, bulls are out the stairs, right? So uh, it's going to be a slower grind. It doesn't have to be. We could print a, you know, a green god candle here <laughs> and go back up 40% in a week. I think that'd be a-okay, a nice little horseshoe here. Uh, but say we, we need to, these are the levels you need to be watching for Harmony as we progress back up. So 20 cents, 22 cents, 25 cents is the 0.5. Uh, a lot of coins will either get rejected there or, you know, if they break out. Uh, it should pop right to the 618 and then continue to the 786 and, you know, back to all-time highs again. So uh, those are the kind of the big scale that I would be watching for uh, to the upside and to the downside. So if we break out of this, uh, this if we if we somehow close a weekly candle under here, uh, yeah, that would be a little bit of a, a shaker. So we could cover Harmony 1 again if that somehow happens, but no need to cross dangerous bridges unless you get to them, okay? So uh, right now, if you're looking to add to your positions, this might not be a bad time, right? Uh, not financial advice, but usually uh, when your coin is down 50% and, you know, in a month, those are the times you want to be looking for uh, to be buying and not when they're up 50% in a month, right? That's usually the reverse. Most people try to, you know, start going all in at this point when they should be, you know, starting to take profits. And most people are going all out at this point when they should start buying back in. Okay, so what? why would you buy back in here? What if we are going to drop again? Well, I'm glad you asked. So remember remember way back when we talked about this level and how, how key this support was, right? Because we've hit it multiple weeks and multiple different months, right? Uh, so if you want to buy in here, right? Say you want to buy in 18 or 19 cents today, okay? And you, you're willing to risk a little bit. So you go outside of these wicks that we've recently had and you're, you're willing to risk, you know, 13, 15%. If we come down outside of this, it's very likely we're going lower. So you have only 10, 15% to risk to the downside, but you potentially have, you know, uh, in the next 30, 60 days or whatever, if we have print one of these reverse recoveries that Harmony One is known to do, uh, look how much potential upside you have. And not only just, you know, all-time highs, we're talking about, you know, maybe a couple hundred percent multiples of all-time highs, okay? So that's what you, you know, pro traders want to offset the risk reward ratio in a big way. And, you know, risking 10, 50% down for 100, 150% plus to the upside is right where the sweet spot is, especially when you have solid formations here. And even at the daily, the daily scale, I mean, this is exactly how bottoms tend to form. You come down, you hit a, a solid or a soft, soft bottom, as they say. Uh, and then you kind of get multiple kind of hits here, uh, kind of riddled, riddled, and it holds. It continues to hold. Then you make go up. You make a higher high, which we did. We took this out, and you come down, and you you either tap it again or make a higher low with the closing candles. 
all of this looks great for Harmony One to potentially be moving back to the upside here. So as we go up, we want to be looking for closing candles above this guy right here. 22, 22 and a half cents, let's call it. Okay, if we close above that, your odds greatly increase again of going to the next level. Our next kind of resistance level with, with on this daily chart is going to be kind of right up in here, right? These previous kind of support levels again. And then previous resistance, previous support will often flip to resistance again. Whatever it did last time, it usually will flip it. So on the daily chart, that's where I'd be looking. You can use your Fibonacci, you know, uh, retracement extensions, all that good stuff. Um, in a nutshell, Harmony One's looking great. I think it'll do excellent again uh, when uh, the next alt season comes, which I still think is a little bit away. Uh, we need Bitcoin to overtake the 21 week EMA again, the 20 week uh, SMA. Uh, those are, you know, currently just shy of 50K on the it's like 47K for Bitcoin. So once we do that and hold that for a couple weeks, then, you know, alts can really start to explode again. So Harmony One had an explosive move back in, you know, late summer here. And it's just in prolonged consolidation, right? So this is ideal scenario in my book, right? Not financial advice, but this is where I would start to be coming back to the market a little bit. I know a lot of you maybe are all kind of all in and just kind of waiting for this. So I, I think you'll, you know, you'll be bailed out. Even if you bought up in here, I still think you're, you're, you're going to just have to be more patient. The higher you buy, the more patience you must have. Okay. And, and you, you never really want to sell when you're at, uh, you know, not financial advice. We, as a general trader's rule, me personally, you don't want to be buying after a 50% or selling after a 50% drop, right? So we even from the bottom of the top to the bottom over almost 57% uh, wick, right? So you don't want to be selling after the substantial drops, right? You want to be selling as you're, you're in profit on the way up 10, 20% as you go. If you want more help with doing that kind of stuff, follow me on Telegram, follow me on Patreon for more tips and tricks. I'm glad to help you out. Um, and, you know, that is that, as they say. So let's see what the fear and greed index is looking like today. What do we got? Well, we're going back up a little bit, but we need to get back out of here. We're still in neutral, right? We've been in fear for a long time. So uh, we want to put in a 55 or higher and then prices should help follow. That should help prices follow, okay? So that's what we are looking for. Quote of the day, that was yesterday. I haven't refreshed it yet. You're new. I'm seeing this for the first time with you. One word frees us of all the weight and pain in life. That word is love. How special. <laughs> and frog. <laughs> all right. Uh, I don't have a card of the day. I just, I didn't anticipate doing it. I found some good stuff on Harmony One. I figured I'd jump on it. So you you could pick it. Whatever car you, you're driving, that's your car of the day. Hopefully it's something relatively cool or you're dreaming of something cool. I'll see you on the next video. Harmony one in a nutshell. Thumbs up. Thumbs up to you.